Hello my friends and welcome to snap dudes today we will create this minimal gradient illustration so let's start with the tutorial ok so we'll start with the very basic shape and select the ellipse tool from the menu yeah and then create a ellipse uh, like this yeah I'll cancel out the stroke and press X on my keyboard to select the fill color and then I'll change it to black yeah now I'll select the rectangle tool and create a rectangle over here yeah I'll slightly shorten it down yeah and then I'll center line both of them by clicking over here yeah now what I'll do is I'll select these corner points by selecting the drag selection tool and say click on the keyboard like 10 times same thing over here yeah like this and I'll slightly shorten the size and then I'll place it yeah. I'll make sure it's center line yeah. now what we will do is we'll select both of these shapes and then click the unite tool yeah now again we'll select the direct se selection tool and then select these two points and what we'll do is we'll just drag them outwards so we'll have this basic shape yeah. now we'll create another rectangle uh, yeah like this and again do the same thing select from the corner point and then click the right arrow key and then select the right point and tap on the left arrow key five times yeah so like this yeah now we'll create the clouds to create the clouds we'll select the pen tool and then click here and then click and drag while holding shift and then click over here yeah then another same thing over here click here yeah and then click here while holding shift shift drag to the right yeah like this like like this make sure the last point is parallel to the first point yeah so this will create a basic cloud <coughs> so now I'll make a copy while holding alt I'll drag this to the right side I'll slightly shorten the size and then I'll maybe change this color to gray yeah like this now comes the fun part let's start with the with coloring the illustration so for that one thing we need to make sure is to keep the color harmony so let me let me explain so I'll create a rectangle and then yeah like this and right click on it arrange it to back and then I'll create in a gradient yeah to create a gradient all you have to do is select the shape and then go to the gradient tab yeah and then drag the purple color to the right side and then say the pink color to the left side yeah and by while selecting this we can change the colors from over here as well if you don't see this RGB uh, color then all you have to do is like click over here and then select RGB yeah and then I'll slightly tone this down yeah like this same for the purple I'll slightly change the color maybe darken it a bit yeah like this and I'll add in some yellow as well yeah 
and then I'll again like slightly make it more close to the pinkish so you see like uh, if these colors really flow well now I can change the angle of the gradient by clicking on this gradient tool and then click and then dragging from this side Just to like change the shape, I'll I'll slightly reduce the size like this. So now, what we can do is we can select this gradient and drag it to the swatch. So this will save our gradient to our swatch. So now I can select this black color and then click on this swatch. That way, like this gradient is applied to the this shape as well. Now, just to distinguish between the colors. We can like again do the same thing like make them maybe make them more brighter yeah by selecting the purple and then dragging to the right yeah and for this as well maybe make them more brighter yeah like this and then again like changing the angle of the gradient like this yeah I'll simply change the color of the clouds to say white yeah and I'll maybe add some transparency say uh, 75 yeah. but let's keep it like as white we'll come to that later and then again I'll select the black this thing box and then I'll do the same thing over here yeah now we can darken this a bit So same thing over here like this now I'll add in some more details to the balloon so for that I'll create a rectangle and change the color to white now we make a copy of this rectangle and while holding alt shift and drag it to the bottom yeah and then maybe reduce the size like this I'll group them and then what I, I'll do is I'll make a copy of this balloon for that while selecting the shape I'll press C control C and control F that will make a copy in the front and I'll right click and then arrange bring to front and while holding shift I'll select these three shapes and then right click on it and click on make clipping mask then I'll give it some transparency say 40 yeah so maybe reduce the height a bit more yeah and now what I can do is let me change this color again yeah so just to add in more details I can what I can do is I'll create a line so I'll create a line over here and make sure the stroke is one and then press X on the keyboard to bring the stroke and then change the color to white yeah like this and then again uh, I'll select the pen tool and maybe click over here just to add that minimal reflection and then click over here and then uh, play with the pen tool so that it looks curved yeah like this so it will have this same uh, one pixel stroke yeah now what we can do is we can add some shadow of the cloud that is falling in the balloon yeah for that uh, I'll click I'll take the pen tool yeah and then click on this corner and then over here and then I'll click the bottom and then I'll make sure the shape is similar yeah like this then while holding alt I'll click on this point to remove the curve and then I'll click over here yeah I'll change this color to say purple sorry uh, yeah 
make sure the fill color is selected and then I'll click on this and then maybe I'll add some transparency say 75 uh, maybe let's tone it down to 45 yeah this looks good now we can create the Sun yeah for that I'll select the ellipse tool and then while holding alt and shift I'll create a circle yeah again I'll maybe select the same swatch right and then I'll remove these two colors yeah like this now what we can do is we can press ctrl C ctrl B this will make a copy of the circle but it will go to the back and while that shape will be selected and you can hold alt shift to increase the size yeah and then we can add transparency say 40 yeah and then again we can make a copy press ctrl c and ctrl b and then again increase the size yeah so the bottom one can have like by selecting both we can have like add some transparency and on this one we can maybe make it 75 yeah so we'll select both and group them together and maybe move them over here yeah so I lock the background rectangle um, while, while selecting the shape and then going to object then lock and <coughs> lock selection yeah now what I'll do is I'll select these two and con press Ctrl G on the keyboard and then center line them vertically and I'll increase the size yeah so, so to increase the size again uh, make sure these are grouped and then you can play, press alt shift and then drag it to the right side this will increase the size center line them and we can add maybe some transparency to the this uh, cloud so maybe change the gradient direction uh, like this I can play with the colors a bit more uh, make them more brighter So yeah, that's it. We have created this minimal beautiful gradient illustration. See you in the next one and please don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Bye-bye.